Good afternoon, class 10th. Here, this is your art teacher, Ritu Sharath, again, with a new flower for you. Uh, today's flower is pansy. It's a very important flower, but due to this hot weather, it is not available naturally because it is available in winter season. So, children, this pansy flower. I will show you the basics on the blackboard. Basically, pansy flowers. Basic is this. It has five petals. Here I am showing you the structure of the flower. One, two, and from the center three, and from here one more, and like this five petal. Here in the center, it has a yellow kind of thing like this. Okay. And then dark purple. If the flower is purple, then here it's dark like this. And like this. And here like this. So here we have to notice that the flower has five petals. And this is how we should draw. This is a light drawing. You also have to maintain it light. Because if you will draw it dark, the pencil marks will not go. For a safer side, you must always draw it light. And here I'm drawing for you. So now children, let's color. Here I'm doing purple pansy. Children, actually the color uh, should be, the drawing should be so light. Okay, here I have done it dark uh, so that you can see it. Now you erase it very lightly before coloring you notice how lightly i am moving my hand i am not rubbing it roughly very delicately very lightly i am erasing it understood children now it's the color time if you are using if you are drawing a purple pansy we'll use crimson and Prussian blue. See what a lovely color is coming. Outside of the petals, light. Very carefully, very delicately, you handle the brush. Before also, I have told you that the middle part is dark, but the outer side, it's light and between the center part and the outer side, there is a pure white layer and a very dark color of uh, whichever color we are using. It can be dark purple, dark red, dark crimson, dark pink. See here, I am putting the outer side of the petal. And please notice the strokes. I am putting my brush, I am putting my strokes. I am taking very uh, little bit gamboge hue, yellow color, the middle color in the palette. And I am giving this shape, which I was telling it's like a mouth of a tiger. Right, I'm giving you this shape. Then I'm taking little white to give it here. And after this, in between white, 
and yellow is very dark purple so making that i will use prussian blue and crimson red and i'll give it very dark with the tip of the brush you just have to do it like this see the effect is coming so beautiful this is a demo it's not what i would do finally finally i take some more time to complete so here i'll post you one flower and a sample of a leaf but by the time you start doing it i'll complete and post the video of my completed drawing i hope you will understand that at least you can start now here again is a this kind of thing bulb kind of thing something like which i have shown you there also it's like this what is also and here like this 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 when you keep a flower in your hand and then study the details then only you will get to learn it properly the detailings kahan se nikalta hai kya cheez how it is done what is the exact color so children here the flower is there in front of you the other flower i'll do it later on and post it so up to here you can do now again the stems very delicate stems with sap green and gamboge as usual in one stroke you just pull it down sap green and little bit gamboge i have taken from here i have mixed and i have done it here in one stroke and the other one also i'll do this strength i want in everyone's hand to do it in one stroke this will come when you will start playing with colors the colors which remains in your palette after completing your drawing you can just use to play with it just with a thin brush try to draw lines vertical horizontal criss cross spirals then you will get strength in your hand here's a sample of a bud but i'll show you right now and here comes the depth depth is the key of a good drawing it gives a 3d effect right now you can see that it is behind it is coming from the back of the flower here this i'll do later on here i'll put some more depth on the sapples <clears throat> this is light in color the roundish part i'll give a depth I'll do a bud. I'll take the same crimson and Prussian blue, and I'll do the bud of this with a one stroke. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh wow! How delicate it's looking, right? It's a bud in a smiling position. Don't overdo it. I will not. I will not overdo it. And please don't. You also don't overdo it. 
one leaf demonstration is also there Uh, its leaf is very unique it has a round cut at the end and then it has round 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 curves small small rounds so here i have used gamboge and sap green to give the base color little bit more 